the aviation industry understood that a fear-based culture, a culture that blames people for incidents, does not reduce the number of incidents. It just reduces the number of reports of incidents, which is the last thing that we want in security. If we have a blame culture, a fear culture, then people don't make less mistakes when it comes to information and technology. They just don't tell us about them. And we in this room all know that that's the last thing we want. If someone is at the center of an incident and they keep it quiet, it just means we have less time to act on it, to investigate, to remediate. So we really need to be thinking, not just about awareness, not just about behavior, but about culture. What kind of culture do we want in security? What kind of security culture do you have in your organization? Do you measure that culture? Do you have metrics in place to tell you whether that culture is moving in the direction you want it to? Do you know what behaviors would make up the kind of culture you want? And how do you raise awareness that is targeted at those behaviors? We really need to start thinking about our culture, both in our organizations and the kind of security culture that we have in general. What is the culture of our profession? Because these are the things that really influence us as individuals, as teams, as organizations, but also really influences the people that we're trying to engage with. <laughs>